Howdy friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke and today we got some Funko Pop. So stay tuned for more. As I said in the intro, today we got some Funko Pops. So this is something new for me. I am not like into them per se. Well, that sounds weird. This is something new for me. I'm not like, I don't intend on collecting a bunch or anything, but um, I did want to get a few to put on my little shelf over here. So some of you may have seen in my last video, I'll link it up above. I was talking about the little Sorcerer Mickey that I got and how I wanted to add a little Disney pizzazz to my little shelf over there. So this is my first kind of, not foray, is that the right word? This is my, this is my first kind of venture into the Funko Pop world. So we got three pops today. First up is this little Mickey and Casey Jr. situation going on. So let me kind of give you an up close of this guy now. All right, so we got this guy here. Sorry about the glare. I'll try to reduce that as much as possible. We got this guy over here. He's a, this is one of the Disneyland 65th Funko Pops. So you can see it's kind of Mickey and he's on the little Casey Jr. train. Once again, I don't know a ton about Funko Pops. So I'm just kind of gonna, gonna, so I'm just gonna kind of go through, I don't know what I think is best. Hopefully that's okay with everyone. So this box here is a little different. It's a little bit more of like a natural color, if you will. It's instead of that stark white. So that is a little bit different. So it's Dix Disneyland 65th right up here and Pop Trains right over here. So you can see on the side there, we got the Pop Trains. He is number three in the little picture down below over here. And on the back, we got, you can see kind of some of the other Pop Trains. So they make one little whole deal. On this side, we got Mickey Mouse on the train attraction. So what a cute little guy here. I'm gonna take him out of the box and I'll kind of give you an up close. I'm not gonna keep these in the box. I'm not like a collector per se. I'll probably never trade these or anything. So I'm just gonna open them up. For me, the whole point is to enjoy them, right? To have them out. So why keep them in the box? That's boring. Alrighty, so, oh, what a cutie guy here. Oh, his head moves a little bit. So we got Mickey here. He's kind of hanging out on his little train. His hands out like he's just ready to go. He's got a little horse on there. There's a little horse in the front of the train carriage. There's even this little, little hook here so you can hook them together. So you can see cut the back there. And then there he is, little Mickey guy in a train. This one is really cute. So to, sh to share some of the backstory, I was actually order ordering an ornament for a box swap and I was getting it from Target and they had a minimum order size to ship. So these were on sale. So I kind of just threw them into the cart and that way I was able to get the ornament. But I think this one's really cute. As a lot of you know, I am a Mickey collector. You know, he's the OG, right? So him on this little train to celebrate the 65th, I figured what, what a nice match. I know that some of the 65th pops sold out really quickly. Like there was a Peter Pan and maybe a hook um, that I know were fairly sought after, but this one was still available and he was like, under 10 bucks. So I thought he was a little cutie guy. So I'm gonna add him into the collection. Next up, we got Wally. -E. Well, an alien dressed as Wally. -E. So also in a previous video, which I'll link up here, I just got a couple pins from the Alien Remix collection. So these are Alien Remix Pops. So this one is the little green alien and he's dressed as Wally. -E. As some of you may know, I am a Wally -E collector. You probably see this Wally -E hat over here all the time. So he's gonna go right next to my little Wally -E cap over there, my little Wally -E ear cap. Your hat. I don't know why I said calf, like I'm some sort of 80 year old man. He's gonna go next to my little Wally -E ear hat. Let's give you an up close of the box and then we'll take him out and kind of give you another up close. So we got the little green alien dressed as Wally. -E. You can see kind of the mock up over here. This one is number 760. So you can see here on the side, we got kind of what he looks like there. On the back, we have all the different ones you can get. So it looks like there's a Sully, a Randall, Wally. We got a little Incredibles one, it looks like. So lots of fun stuff here in this collection. And then you can see Wally on the side there. Let's get him opened up and I'll give you an up close. What a little Wally. Oh, he's heavy. He's kind of, he's kind of hefty, which I was not expecting. So we got little green alien. Look at these cute little eyes up top. I mean, how stinking cute. And you can see a little Wally square body there. And then we got his little pointy ears with a little cutie pie. Kind of give you a quick little around here. I just think he's so cute. 
Overall, I'm not a huge Toy Story collector, but I am a wallet collector and I just thought he was really cute. You know, this set has been going, not specifically this one maybe, but a lot of these Alien remakes are going pretty quick. So I figured I'd kind of get them while I could and add them to the shelf. Last, but certainly not least, is Doug here. Well, Alien Remix Doug. So we got one of the little green aliens dressed as Doug. So this one is what's called a flocked pop. So that means it's a little bit fuzzy. That was a new term for me. So <laughs> figured I'd share that because I was like, what the heck does flocked mean? And apparently it means fuzzy. Let me give you an up close of the box now. So we got handsome little Doug in there. As you can see here, we got the little picture of Doug right on the front there, only at Target. This one was a Target exclusive. Got another little picture of him there. And then in the back, you can see all the ones that are available. So there's a Buzz, there's a Woody, there's a Carl, which I would like to get a Carl, he's fun. There's a Russell that's really cute. There's um two of the, I, what are their names? Tuck and Roll, I believe, from Bugs Life. I, that might be one of them at the center there. I can't really tell from here. But yeah, lots of different cute ones there. And then we got Doug on the side. Let's just open them up. Oh, wow, it is really fuzzy. So weird how they do that. Oh, look at his old tongue. Okay, let me show you him up close. So we got little Doug here. Look how handsome he is with his old tongue sticking out. Little, little antenna up top, so cute. Give you kind of a quick little turnaround so you can see, yeah, he's a little bit fuzzy, almost like velvet, I guess is the best way to kind of put it. Oh, look at his little tail. The details on this one are really nice. Actually, the details on all of them are pretty nice. Nice than I was expecting. Yeah, we got a little Doug guy here. So once again on this, I'm not really a, not really a, a Toy Story collector, but I am an up collector, primarily pins, but I thought he was just too cute. Plus I needed one more thing <laughs> to get that shop in, <laughs> to get, to get that, uh, that delivery. So he was fit right in price wise. So little cute Doug alien guy. I do think Doug's really cute. I love Up. It's one of my favorite movies. It just really tugs the heartstrings. And Doug is just a, such a cute character, like a stereotype, typical dog, always wanting to love and be loved. So I just think he's a great character. So I figured I'd add him to the collection. Also, side note, I have no idea how they make this flocked texture, but I think it's really cool. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if they just like glue velvet on or how they do it. If anyone knows how they do this, leave a comment down below and let us know. But I just think this is such a cool little uh, interesting piece or interesting characteristic. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I just think it's really cool. Well, all right, friends, that's all the pops we got today. That's all the Funko Pops we got in this little mini haul. So we got that Mickey and the Casey Jr. train. We got the Doug Alien remix and we got the Wally Alien remix. What did you think about these Pops today? Let me know in the comments below. Do you have any of these? Are you collecting any of these sets? Let us know. If you liked what you saw today, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe with notifications on so you stay in the loop when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon. Oh, the lighting's really bad. I don't even know how to do well. This is like pointless to do in the box. I can't even see. So we got kind of so we got kind of Mickey here. So we got kind of Mickey. So we got kind of Mickey here. So we got kind of. Are we pop twins on any of these? I don't know if these things carry over the pop world, but <laughs> whatever. What did you think about the new kind of style of video? I mean, I guess it's really not that new. The style is not really new. Just the content is.